Hey, what's up guys? Joker here. Earlier today, Brian of Tech Yes City, my co-host for the weekly TGW podcast, put up a video on his channel about NVIDIA versus AMD and specifically how the different sides handle the textures in the new Doom game and how they, you know, handle loading the actual textures into the game, where he came to the conclusion by the end of that video that NVIDIA was not able to load the textures as quickly and efficiently as his AMD RX 480 that he tested against the GTX 970, and he also did some testing on the GTX 780. So I kind of wanted to counter-argue that and bring some more evidence to the table for you guys that may kind of prove what he was talking about to be incorrect. Because here we, we're going to look here, we'll see the GTX 1080. We're going to load into the game here, and you'll see that you can actually that the textures on the ground are loading in right before your eyes. It takes about a second or two for them to go ahead and resolve, and then you're you know you're good to go, and you're not going to see that issue come up anymore. And if you reload the checkpoint, you're not going to see it happen either because then by this point, the textures have been stored to your, your memory cache and it doesn't have to reload them. When I switched over to the RX 480, I also I saw the exact same result. When I loaded into the level for the first time in the same area, we could see the very same textures on the ground loading in. But when I go ahead and reload the checkpoint, it doesn't have to do that anymore. Once again, because those textures are now stored to the memory. Brian also did walk around in the game world where he would see textures start to pop in on the GTX 970 as he would come into new areas. I didn't see any of that exhibited in my testing on the GTX 1080 or the RX 480. So that really left me to conclude that it wasn't necessarily an NVIDIA versus AMD thing, but it was really a hardware limitation of the GTX 970, which we know has less video memory and also a lower memory bus. So the GTX 1080 has a memory bandwidth of 320 gigabytes per second, while the RX 480 is doing 256 gigabytes per second. And then coming in last on this is the 970 at 224.4 gigabytes per second. Despite the fact that they're all operating on a 256 bit memory bus, the memory bandwidth between each of the cards is actually rather different. And then you also have to factor in the fact that, you know, we have two eight gigabyte cards with the 1080 and the 480 versus the GTX 970, which is a four gigabyte or 3.5 gigabyte card realistically, if we're talking about just VRAM there. So why exactly is this happening? Well, it does come down to hardware limitations, but it also comes down to the actual software and the engine being the id Tech 6 engine on Doom, which is a vast improvement to the id Tech 5 engine, which had texture loading issues much worse than what is available in Doom because they use what was known as mega textures. This was by far wor the worst in the game Rage. If you guys remember, that game came out on the, on the consoles as well as the PC. On the PC, though, it had really, really bad texture pop in because it would literally just load a massive mega texture of whatever you were looking at. And if you turned around, it would then have to load all of those textures new for you. So it was really, really bad. They did improve on that in Wolfenstein, but once again, it wasn't perfect. The game still had texture pop in and you could even uh, kind of circumvent that with a fix by creating a texture cache folder on your own because the game didn't make one by itself. And then it would basically store the textures in there so that every time the game loaded, it didn't have to regenerate all of those textures for you for the first time. And now we come along to Doom in 2016, which is actually running on the id Tech 6 engine, which is definitely an evolution from the id Tech 5 engine. They're able to do things like dynamic lighting now because they are still using virtual texturing, but they're not using the large mega textures, which really relied on having everything kind of baked into the game. But it is still, you know, uh, it's still vulnerable to those kinds of issues that they have with virtual texturing. So for the textures to work, they really require the engine to read your hardware and then to make decisions correctly based off of that. And when it doesn't work, players can get issues like low resolution textures, performance drops, and inconsistent graphics. So I really feel that that is what Brian was experiencing here and not necessarily just an NVIDIA versus AMD thing. And I feel that if you were to put an NVIDIA card with higher video memory and memory bandwidth, then the issues would have been diminished quite significantly because going around in the game world on my GTX 1080 versus the RX 480, I did not exhibit any of that texture pop in like he was seeing on the GTX 970. It was only when I would first load into levels and you know, that's just to be expected. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here, guys. Please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below on this. I really just wanted to do this to uh, raise awareness and give you guys education on the virtual texturing um, in case, you know, people are kind of confused after seeing Brian's video uh, and thinking this may be an NVIDIA versus AMD thing, but it's it's really not. This really just comes down to, um, you know, how the id Tech engines uh, handle the virtual texturing and stuff. So once again, let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. 
and I'll catch you guys next time.